Hello there, in today's tutorial you are going to learn how to invest in US stocks using this one little app, Bamboo Invest. Let's get started. So you are first going to go into your app store or your play store and then type in this word Bamboo, B-A-M-B-O-O, -O, there in your search bar and then the first app that comes up is what you're going to download. As you can see, I already have the app on my phone and so I don't need to download it again. Now when you pay the app, it will take you to this page where it says start building wealth or sign in. If you're in Ghana, you click on Ghana. If you're in Nigeria, you click on Nigeria. Now I'm using my sister's credentials to fill in this um, app because I already have the app. So my sister's name, her first name, her last name and she's obviously a female and then you enter your date of birth as well and i wouldn't want you to lie about your date of birth because you don't know when you're going to need it okay so you enter your date of birth and then already it says there ghana as your citizenship and then you enter your number now that number is what you'll be using to log in although there is an email address um, option over there it is the number that you will normally log in with either ways i have to enter the email address that my sister will be using now when you are done entering your email address in the address bar you come to where the, it says password and then you enter the password now the password that you are entering must contain one small letter one number one capital letter and one special character the special character that you can use are a lot you can use at you can use question mark you can use exclamation mark any special character that you feel or deem it fit to use you can use it but make sure that you don't forget it it is very very important now as you can see i have completed all the check marks it shows me over here so i can continue now you can also enter every referral code like for instance i'm the one referring you to this app so you can enter the code below this video or on the screen and then enter it over here when you are done with the referral code you click on the checkbox there where it says agreement and you wait for a verification code to be sent to your phone when that verification code comes you enter it over here in the verification code bar and then you click on next when you are done with the verification code it will bring you to this page where it says create a pin now you need to create a four digit transaction pin make it a pin that you, you remember all the time because that's what you also use to enter the app you repeat the pin again to confirm that that's actually the pin that you use and welcome to bamboo Dali. that's my little sister's name you are not done when you are able to enter the app you'll be asked to complete your kyc now kyc is know your customer this is the app's way of knowing who they are dealing with so they request for your ghana card that is the ghana card number you enter it over there as i have done and then you click on next so when you're done entering your ghana card details you'll be brought to this page where it says prepare valid government issued id check if your device's camera is cut uncovered and working and be prepared to take a selfie and photos of your id this is what all the kyc is about okay you go through all this procedure it's actually instant when you're able to complete this procedure automatically you'll be accepted in the app so make sure you go through this process before you continue with whatever that you want to do with the app so here i had my sister go through every bit of this part so that i can be able to use the app now she has finally completed the kyc and then she has been fully being accepted into the app yay if you've been able to make it to this stage congratulations you are one step closer to owning a u.s stock okay so this is the bamboo home page as you can see my sister's name is up there i'm going to click on it and it's going to bring me to this page where it says advise a friend write a review kyc status save cards etc and i'm going to click on the save cards part so that you can see if you really want to 
um, use a card to purchase stocks um, you can add a card that can automatically pay for any stock that you want to pay okay i actually don't use um, a visa card on this app because um it has the momo option so i directly pay for my momo account but you can choose to add your card over here so that it makes it easier for you anytime you want to purchase a stock back to this page now for account statement this is where your monthly um state the states the state of your accounts for every month will, will appear okay and so you take note of that and then we have tax documents if you have tax impairing tax that you have to pay i don't think Ghanaians pay taxes that much because i've not got that notification but your tax documents will also appear over here as well now for trade confirmations this is where whenever you buy a stock the confirmation will come on this page that the trade has been confirmed for you or the trade or the stock has been bought for you okay so you take notes of this page as well then we move on downwards to account details and then whatever information that you saw for the account details if you want to change anything this is where you come and then you do your details or change any details now as you can see there is a beneficiary designate there if you want somebody to inherit when you pass on you can fill in the details over here it's very important you can fill in the details over here and then stick to that then if you want to delete the account to you can do so using the account details but for notifications and alerts this is where you can either decide to toggle on some alerts for you okay you can toggle on price alerts breaking news corporate actions and then bank activity so now when you go back and then you scroll downwards you see the security hide portfolio pin code use face id you can switch them on and then you can use them as, as it suits you you can also change the screen settings to dark mode as you can see over here now back to our home page the home page is where you see the stocks that you have invested in and the total amount that you have in your wallet okay so we have here the usd wallet and the ghana cities wallet for the usd wallet it will show in dollars and then for the ghana cities wallet it will show in cities now immediately you tap on any of the wallets to deposit this kyc pop-up will come up and make sure that you fill any information that they want you to fill okay that is your personal details that your investment goals and the assets that is anything that they want you to do over here make sure you complete it before you they will give you the go ahead to actually deposit money into the account now when you are done with your kyc this page is, will also pop up and then you select the one that relates to you but most of the time the none of the above is what most people choose okay so i selected none of the above as well it's very important when it comes to registering on the app as well so as you can see right here i have been allowed to make a deposit or do it later on but i'm going to do it so i am back on my home page and then i am going to click on my ghana cities wallet down here and then i'm going to deposit one dollar equivalent of that um ghana cities which is currently 12 cities 80 pesos into my ghana cities account i normally use the dollar cd street because i don't know why you would want to get it transferred to your Ghana CDs account and then transfer back into your dollar account before you can buy. So I do, I normally do it straight away. For those financial goals out there, if you know why, you can do it any other way. Please let me know. So when you enter the amount that you want to enter, this page will also come up asking if you want to do a card deposit or a Momo deposit. I chose the Momo deposit, so I'm going to enter my number in the first bar where you have the 050 when you are done entering your number you select your network provider and then you click on confirm it will take some few minutes and then your network service provider will also bring up the pop-up message where you will enter your pin as well if your transaction is successful your network provider will send you a message mind your scheme and so i am going back to the home page to see that if it has reflected on my home page as well okay 
so i'm going to reload the screen again and then voila there it is my money the money or the amount that i entered is reflecting beautifully on my home screen you do remember i said you cannot use this ghana cd's account to buy edge stock street okay so i have to transfer it into my dollar account that's what i'm going to do here and so i click on the transfer button and then i enter the amount that i want to transfer into my account now remember the first pin that you entered when you're registering for the app the transaction pin that's what you're going to enter here and then transfer it into your account so as you can see the usd dollar um us dollar wallet is showing or reflecting the amount that i have transferred into it's as simple and as easy as that now let's learn how to buy this stock on our own and so when you look at downloads here you can see they have home invest learn and then help and then i click on invest and then as you can see up here i am sliding through the groups or ideas stock ideas that i can tap in from and then when you look down here too we have feature stocks that is what i am also going through over here you can buy any of these stocks provided you have done your research on them okay so we have um ets there is REIT, uh, that is real estate investment trust we have um formula one that is and then we have the magnificent seven now the magnificent seven is the top seven companies in the world that is where we have apple amazon tesla nvidia and microsoft corporation and then google those these companies are the magnificent seven and then we have timmy ote dollar if you don't know where who timmy ote dollar is she is Otedola's daughter and then she also does um, stock investment as well so we can have a glimpse of her investment portfolio she has apple she has amazon she has invested in bank of america she has invested in dell technologies but, and then she has bought an um, estee lauder etsy manchester united netflix pepsico paypal holdings that is um her stock portfolio and so she helped she owns stocks in all of these companies then we have real estate companies and then falls the bad guy i think that's what he is he is also a nigerian artist and then she um sorry he has his portfolio over here so falls also has a very impressive portfolio over here um he has invested in s p uber mastercard coca-cola alphabet um apple amazon etc okay so you can decide to follow for um put wealth um portfolio or stock portfolio and then invest in the same things that he has invested in. and so you can click on any of these colorful buttons to get a stock idea that you want to invest in you can also use the search bar to search for whatever stock that you are looking for now let's learn how you can actually buy the stock using the money in your wallet remember i said you can only buy ten dollar stock but i'm going to use this as a trial now this is my demo stock because i have one dollar in my account that's what i that's why i'm looking for this stock now this is a McDermott Holdings International Incorporation and it's, it's selling for 0 0.07 cents and so I am going to try to see if my $1 can purchase it so I check my financials to see how far it has come at a point it was 0 0.25 cents at a point it was 0 0.01 cents okay so um, I'm going to click on the buy option and when you click on the buy button here it will take you to this page where it says buy now limit order and then stop order i'm going to explain each to you buy now means that you want to buy the stock at the current price so the price for the mcdemo stock now is 0 0.07 so you can buy it at that price and then when we come to the limit order the limit order simply means that you want to buy the stock at a particular price so let's say that you have projected that the price will come down to 0 0.02 okay so you set the limit order that when the price reaches 0 0.02 to buy it for me for the stop order what it simply means is that you do not want a price and um, uptrend to go by you and uh, so you can decide to set a price order that let's say if the 
price decides to trend when it gets to zero point let's say zero nine buy this stock for me so that by the time that it reaches zero point one i would have bought it at a better price okay so that is what the stock order also means so here i'm going to try and do a buy now order to see if it work out for me as i said if you don't have ten dollars you cannot buy a stock okay so i'm going to prove it to you here so i'm going to enter 0 0.07 dollars over here and then it's going to ask me the app and the wallet that i want to do the transaction from and then i click on the usd dollar and then it says your order cannot be processed because the minimum allowed trade amount is ten dollars okay so when you download the app make sure you have ten dollars um to spare and then you transfer it into the app and then you make your pitches for whatever kind of stock that you want to buy make sure to leave your questions in the comment section and then you watch this video on how to buy stocks so that you can understand whatever that i have shown you over here bye